In this video, we will show you how to install the flanged riser tube with Nuco and subsequently insert it into the Westamat. For the installation, you need the following individual parts. Then you can start. First, you apply the silicone glue evenly onto the back of the steel insert. Next, you adhere the seal to the riser tube steel insert. Weigh down the seal and let it dry. Place the riser tube upright and put on the mica gasket and the steel flange. Now pull the protective sleeve over the riser tube. Then the clamping ring can be put on and the steel block with guide pipe and pin can be inserted into the existing drilled hole in the riser tube. To stabilize, you place the clamping ring so that the steel block is positioned in the recess of the clamping ring. Next, you spin the riser tube and place it in the provided device. With the alignment pin, you ensure that the steel components are positioned exactly one above the other. Now you place the second mica gasket on the riser tube. After that, the riser tube steel insert can be put on. After putting on the copper washers, you apply the copper paste evenly to the threads of the screws. This prevents corrosion. Subsequently, you screw in the screws and tighten them with a wrench, thereby establishing a screw connection between the steel flanges. Now you can mount the compression fitting and the copper seal ring. Set the seal ring on the screw connection and spin it into the corresponding bore. Then you slide the steel pipe through the bore and spin it into the steel block below. Now you re-tighten the screws with the torque wrench crosswise and the mounted riser tube is finished. Let it warm up in the opening of the Westamat before installing it completely. The riser tube needs to be adjusted and tightened with the dog clamps. In order to connect the Nuco pipe with the corresponding supply unit, you insert the quick connection on the plug-in nipple of the Nuco steel pipe. 